take one. Bam, bam, bam. Welcome, one and all, to the KOE Nation for another special beer review. Another Trappist Ale. This time from Rochefort. This is their 10, a Belgian ale uh, from the Abbey of Rochefort. Another Trappist ale brewed inside a monastery. This one, though, has a very special distinction. It is 11.3 alcohol by volume. This is going to be a bit of a heavy beer. Now, so we're going to have to chew this one a little bit. Perhaps. perhaps. No, I, I've heard it's just got very thick flavors. Is, okay. it's... Remember, that's a heavy bottle. That's not as heavy as the last. <laughs> waka waka. Shagan was over there doing curls green, with the last no bottle. It was so heavy. I, you know, I don't even realize my own strength sometimes. That's probably true. <laughs> oh, sorry. But yeah, this particular Abbey, what's fascinating about it is there's no cafeteria. There's no place to, there's no salespeople there. It's literally just a, uh, it's literally just you knock on the door, you ring a bell, and at some point, some monk is going to come down and ask, would you like to buy some beer? Oh. And yeah, so when you go to like uh, Chenet or West Mali, there's uh, usually a big uh, cafe, there's kind of a tourist area. Sure. Um, but this one, you know, uh, the reason for being there is monastic work. They're not like, you know, beard nerds like we are. They're, they're no. monks, they're monks, and so, but yeah, no, so they're not nerds. Got it. Yeah, but the the the, the uh, but yeah, they they actually do really enjoy when tourists come mm -hmm. and then they want, hey, let's drink beer together, even if they don't speak the same language. Well, so, all you right. don't have to speak the same language to drink beer together. Look at Oktoberfest every year. Ooh, this one's alive. Yeah, I was gonna say this has got a. I mean, Chicken poured me a lot of head with this one, and he's probably breaking his own rule, but that's fine. We discussed that already. Yeah. yeah. Tony likes head, so it was just one trying to. There's hops. There is a bitterness like on the nose. It, you're right. But again, because Tony they the head, because the uh, yeast actually creates esters, uh, you're going to get a slight fruit I on the nose I, I was, because esters are the same chemical that actually gives fruit its smell. Kind of like a berry. It's a uh, roasted barley. Yeah. Slightly rust is not. Well, I'm gentlemen. actually eager to try this one. Yeah, this is good. It's not super dark. It's kind of a medium dark. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! Is, is a lot more bitter. Uh, no, I don't even. I thought the nose was better. <laughs> you said yeast, and the only thing I could think of this whole time is a nice fresh loaf of bread. At least you finish your vegetables. <laughs> Honestly, fresh loaf of bread. Yeah, go for it. So, so you're saying this is one of the more authentic versions. This is where you actually knock on the door to receive. Yeah, uh, and yeah, they'll actually. Huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. And there's I don't no hate that at all. Cafeteria at this particular uh, abbey. It's got a. There's a. <laughs> that. That's, that's how no. much he liked it. Uh, he no. Just, no. No. So, all right. Well, there we go. Um, there's so a I, bit of a medicinal flavor on the front, but there's actually a there's a really nice flavor there. That there's a lot of character. It's hard to describe everything in there. Yeah, I'm, there's this something there. I can't This is what you would on. imagine, like a flagon in like 1826 to be filled with. Like, bring me more beer. Like, yeah. And so, yeah, this is... Uh, if I was getting this in 1826, I would be super excited. You'd be lucky to this have it at this temperature at 1826. This is a really good beer. But no, like, I don't know how to... Like, it just tastes ancient. I I, I don't know how to... The not, yeast is very Not dry. like an old way, but just like, it's the way your ancestors would have drank beer yeah the, the yeast is very forward on this and it's, it doesn't apologize I don't, I don't even know if it's the yeast it's just a thick consistency to it but it it's not that barley. it's yeah it's not that thick of a beer i think uh, it, the mash was pretty heavy in malted barley oh well, i can think this whole time is fresh heavy. Bread. and it's heavy in the alcohol too um well, let's discuss that. I'll get another one. Hmm. well jordan <laughs> likes it i don't know I, this is actually it's I not what to, I expected. I, I had to come over and grab my ulcer. I, could, I had to get that thing out. Pat's not a fan. No, Pat don't like Wet it. Wet-ass Pat is not a fan. But, no, it's almost uh, like, a, it, like a, a bitter nut type taste to it. Like The uh, people that like to like, salt their beer, are you really going to like this one? <laughs> hey, buddy. 
How's it going? <laughs> it's just fun. A bitter We're just still kind of reviewing things. Like, that just like, <laughs> <"Bitter stuff." laughs> You didn't like it? I didn't realize what I, I mean, said. I, just hey, like, I, looked at on, it. on a star scale, <laughs> how many? How many oh, I just said that it tastes like a bitter nuts. One. One. <laughs> and bitter nuts. Wow. And one star. <laughs> God, this is an A plus. A one, this... a one from Pat. I'm, I'm, as a beer. Oh, oh, we're grading again. Okay, cheers. Are we taking this serious now? Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, so, all right, as a beer, and as an ale, Jordan. All right, all right. Uh, unfortunately, that's the last beer I had of this particular kind. The only one, sir. So um, yes. So, all right, as a beer, as an ale. When you would drink it, so I'm gonna give this a 2.75 on a beer scale. Ooh, all right, chicken. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three. It's not bad. It's, no, it's really not bad. No, I've if had it's way really worse. an authentic, like you know, we gave it, you know, if it was back in this day, would I drink? Yeah. It? Hell yeah! If it was back in the day, I'd drink it. Um, it's it's kind of a cool nostalgic thing. It's a cool bottle to talk about. Yeah. Um, I prefer their other. Um, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, this it's good. Yep, it's not terrible. You prefer other abbeys? It's looking like yes. so. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, Jordan, as a beer, how'd you rate this? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. All right. This guy likes his Trappist ales, whether so he knows far. or not. Now, Pat, you rated this one. One, one. one. beer. Wow. I like one. He's a little curmudgeon-y on this one. He's not so, a fan. All right. Now, as an ale, as an ale. Oh well, actually, as a beer. <laughs> I give this three stars. Three stars. I'm surprised it's, you like it that much. Well, it's so full of flavor. It's got a it's, lot of flavor. It's not a beer kind of sewers first There's choice, one that but... you can leave and come back to in a few minutes, and it'll have more flavor for you. Yeah. I'm, but yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Now we move on as an ale. So. Oh, as an ale, I'm going to go two. I, I, I got to know. All right, Pat, as an ale. One. Well, okay. You gotta have one of them. We got a fan over here. You yep. Clearly picking up a keg of this one. Yep. Uh, chicken as an ale. As an ale. I mean, it it is different than most ales. It is different yeah. than IPAs. Um, but it 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 doesn't deliver like some of the others do. Uh, I'm gonna mm-hmm. give it a two and a half. Like, a, there's a lot of good ales out there. There. Well, yeah. Ale's so wide and broad. This doesn't even. No, this isn't even close. Not on the L spec. Jordan? It's just so yeah, fun to ask. Fucking ale is. Okay. <laughs> Jordan's going to say, here's beer. Three. It's okay. complex enough. Still though. three and a half. All right. I'm going to give go. uh, on an ale scale, uh, 275. You no. drink, you it's drink, don't it's interesting ale enough to like, yep. uh, like have a rating, but yes. it's Wait, not on. that great. Hang on. Am I pretty yet? as pretty as you thought you were okay i don't know what to even make of that as a beer review but you so, were here yes <laughs> you were here uh tony when would you drink this uh, beer uh the uh it, not when it's warm out i'm not gonna I, drink it with these fucking but guys, yeah no sure. <laughs> uh, this isn't a campfire beer this isn't a back roads <laughs> beer this is a i don't even i have to drink this with dinner this is I'm having a tough time picking a specific location or event that I would have this. this I is... wouldn't drink this. All right. I wouldn't yeah. seek this out. Ooh. All right. Pat, where I, would you drink I this beer? Me is hot and it's cold. Though. He won't. I guess if I, was in, if I was in Belgium. Okay. And I see, <laughs> if I was in Belgium, I see in a monastery, I'd be like, fuck it. I want to see if it's as... Okay, yeah. It's the same. If I'm in Belgium and I go up and I knock on the door and I go, hey, give me a 10. They give me a 10. There you go. There. So, folks... As I'm known to say around here, all that being said, thank you for joining me for this, let's call it a review of <laughs> Trappist Roche Fork number 10 Ale. Yeah. I am York King of Extreme, the one and only, the Lord of the Scottish Highland, and one damn handsome man, if I do say so myself, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partners. Tony G. Chicken, appreciate you. Love you. Bye. Jordan, thank you for being here. And Pat, wherever you've wandered off to in this in this life, 
May you find a better <laughs> ale someday. Someday. So, folks, KOE Nation, YouTube and Twitch, subscribe. Oh, good Lord. Catch you around. Tell you what I'll do if I ever get back. I promise to refabricate you, raging rivers of gold. That's what the brochure advertised. And now we're lost, we gotta take it down. Let you get them slow, it's hard to survive. Nice. Eldorado. Oh, Lord. Well, let's see how that one went. Yeah.